In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the pressure shear test for carpal metacarpal osteoarthritis. Check out our online courses now. The link is in the video description. Hi, and welcome back to PhysioTutors. Thumb osteoarthritis is a painful and debilitating condition that affects a large proportion of the adult population with radiographic prevalence reaching 90% in both men and women by the age of 80. This condition can cause pain at the base of the thumb, progressive loss of thumb motion, weakness, and decreased coordination, which worsens over time. Qualitative assessment of the history, physical examination, and radiographs is used to diagnose and treat thumb CMC arthritis. The location, duration, onset, frequency, intensity, and quality of the pain are all under consideration. In 2017, Sela et al. conducted a comparative study to determine the best diagnostic tests for CMCOA of the thumb by comparing the results of four provocative tests with the eaton littler classification system of radiologic evaluation of the CMC joint. In their study, the pressure shear test yielded a sensitivity of 99% and a specificity of 95%. The pressure shear test thus appears to have good ability to both confirm the diagnosis of CMC osteoarthritis and to identify those who do not have it. In the study, the test was performed last in a series of four provocative tests, which may have sensitized the joint. Furthermore, this study was the first to formally investigate its diagnostic accuracy in a surgical setting, which is why we give this test a moderate clinical value for now. To conduct the test, the patient is in sitting position and the hand is placed on a stable surface such as the examination table. The examiner grasps the patient's wrist and hand with one hand in order to stabilize it. The patient's wrist and metacarpals are in neutral position. With the other hand, the examiner applies pressure over the anterior oblique ligament and creates a shearing force across the CMC joint by rocking the metacarpal across the trapezium. The test is considered positive if the patient reports any pain, even a slight painful sensation or other sensations such as crepitus in the basal joint region of the thumb. All right, that's it for this video. If you want to learn more about the wrist and hand, the diagnosis that can be found in that area and how to treat these various conditions, check out our upper limb focus course on the wrist and hand with experts Thomas Mitchell and Andrew Cuff. The link is in the video description down below the like button. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. For more content, head to our website physiotutors.com. And as always, this was Andreas for Physiotutors. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.